some gold coins. Depth issue? No. Keep going. There's some bones. They don't all have a treasure chest, so. They don't seem to be attracting any company. Treasure chest. Alright, you can stop digging now. So this is what we're usually looking for, the treasure chest. It's usually on, this is the, I guess the back side of the boat. I guess which side was the back side incorrectly this time. <laughs> That's pretty shallow. Usually about this far in from one end of the boat. So. Two rubies and a pearl. Yeah, just a little money like you find in the chests in the dungeons. Hopefully they make it a little more interesting later. All right, off this way. Um, what are we heading for? I pinged it. Glory. Not where? What? <laughs> My enough. inventory is like full. <laughs> I'm sure we can share it around. I hear bees. Must stop for bees. Yeah, hives right here. Alright, come on, game. Honey and a new queen. Boars I can't see in the dark keep getting me. Day 23. That's what you're looking for? Yep.
Gallop right in front of him. Two star, careful. This guy's gonna hit like a truck. Like three more coming. What the hell? I killed him and I died. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened either. He was at like a sliver of health. I swung at him and killed him, and then I instantly died. Uh, well, <laughs> that's a long ass run I gotta make. Hey, Zizix, bring the boat. <laughs> What's the wind direction right now? Yeah, it's friendly for a boat trip. Uh, not at base either, so I don't even have uh, food I can grab real quick. <laughs> We took down all the beds. Yeah, that was, uh, that was not appreciative. I don't, I don't know what happened there. I don't know if they explode on impact and then did damage to me to kill me or what. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just hoping it. I'll get there about the time they finish clearing it. <laughs> Dead end. Door. Ghost. Also, core room. There you go. Ready, Rima? What do we got to hit those guys with? Everything. Plus, the kitchen <laughs> sink. Alright, thanks for the Uber food delivery. Now I find a big old pile of berries, of course. North. Way far north. Yeah, skeleton? Yep. Okay, we got that guy, he's clear. Okay. Skeleton behind the door. What door? <laughs> the one that just went poof. Whoa! Okay, that's, one. That's a lot of cores. Two. No, there's no cores here. Nothing to see. Or I return. We had the tailwind. We could have taken the boat for him. I know. <laughs> I'd make it about the same time. Eh, probably. I just, uh, you've, also, the you've also got to factor in this fact that as soon as I state a direction I wish to travel on a boat, the wind yeah. switches to in my face. So <laughs> this this is a really nice, compact first island, though. There's no mountain on it, but uh, Get it's in. nice. Just black forest. I might take the boat out and uh, explore the one like directly across the bay from us. Dead end. Fact, I'm going to do exactly that. One hallway that way, that's it. Got a chest. That's not very helpful. The only thing on the left is uh, a corpse. Hey, 
Hey, look. Company. It was empty. There's nothing here. Cool. <laughs> Are we going back to the boat? Yeah, let's go back to base. I know I'm also almost full inventory now, so. Did we get a boat ride back? <laughs> well, now you guys got the wind going in the opposite direction, so, uh. Oh. Nah. <laughs> and no cart? You have to walk all this way? <laughs> That's the shoal. Yeah, we're in like a really small island chain. Odd, quite odd. Still haven't found any other biomes, just the uh, meadows, black forest. So it could be like a swamp or a plains nearby. You don't want a planes. I'd love a planes just, just to build there once uh once it's not insta kill from death mosquitoes. Which I think is what they're actually called, and it's not just my horrible naming scheme. They're actually called death mosquitoes. <laughs> death mosquitoes, there we go. But we know what you meant. Yeah. They're mosquitoes of death. It's just a shortening. Hey, I don't see my boat. Where's my boat? I called for an Uber. See some mountains. Yeah. Are we uh, planning on trying to take on the elder tonight? Mm, I don't know if we're outfitted well enough. Or at least all of us, anyway. All right. I'm still rolling around in level one leather, level one flint axe. <laughs> we have enough uh, troll parts to make some troll armor. The biggest thing for that guy is just a decent shield, you know, highest level shield we can. You can block the tendrils he shoots at you really easily. Then just maneuver him so he stands on top of the, uh, the flaming part and wait him out. He burns himself to death. Should be easy enough. You think he'd have some sense of his own flammability? How many ancient seeds do we have? 
one that I know of. Uh -huh. uh, I think we have two. They drop off brutes also, so we might have a few others people haven't noticed. Uh, rounding the corner of Death Island. You know, this unsightly boat hole next to our beautiful fortress. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty nice boat home. No, boat hole. Oh, boat hole. I thought you meant the, uh, the, the boat yeah. house. Oh, the boat house is quite nice. Yeah, that roof. I like that roof. I spent time on that roof. Blood, sweat, tears, salt water, broken knees. Well, I have one certain core. That's enough for two portals if we want to go uh, up, portal up the Elder Zone. Chester, too, here. Okay. I'll just set myself on fire a little bit. Just trying to get toasty. choices. No good choices of what? What are we looking for? Eh, places to put certain things. Yeah, we need to build more boxes, I guess. Definitely not a surplus of troll parts. to the wind.
Why did the bronze axe not repair when I clicked on the workbench? Because you have to repair it on the forge. Aha. That's the reason why. Alright, one of you bronze axe people go out and get some fine wood. Need fine wood so we can uh, take materials for another portal. How much do we need? Uh, 20. Drop my tin again, please. <laughs> I need some food. Both parked. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat real quick. Spooky, do I recommend this game? Yes, I recommend this game. Yeah, I found some birch up the hill here. Dumby dog. You want one of these? <laughs> you want one of these? Oh, okay, he's interested. Come on, go over here. You gotta come get it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go, Umber Sun. Zombie Dog's treat has been delivered. All right, I've got the start portal upstairs in the main cabin. It's called Alpha, so if you're going out and about for now, that'll be the portal to connect to. If we get more portals up, we'll make some permanent, but we should always keep at least one as a uh, wildcard portal that people that are out and about, if they need to port back to base, can just ask somebody here to rename the portal so they can portal in whenever they need to. Turned. What are we up to? Yeah, no good. Nice. I don't think I've picked up a piece of bronze yet to unlock the recipes. Apparently not. <laughs> Oh, we got a portal. And we got uh, Hastings or whatever his name is up there. 
Huggin. Havaldir. Close enough. Huggin. Havaldir. Hastings. Hugin. Whatever his name is. Hugo. Um, with portals, I think you need a pair of portals for every connection, so you can't just have one, like, uh, master portal. You can rename it on the fly, as long as you have somebody here that can oh. rename a portal for you. So if you go off okay. sailing and you take the materials for a portal with you, you can just hit a new island, drop the portal, and call back to base and say, hey, somebody reset a portal to whatever name you give yours. Hey guys, I'm bringing a great, great dwarf party in. But, like, if everyone had their own individual island, it would be pretty hard to, um, like, get... Oh, yeah, great over party. And a big guy. Don't worry, I have AoE. Which does not do nearly as much damage in multiplayer. Another brute. Shaman, oh, that's a, yeah, another brute and a shaman coming down. Twenty-seven fine wood I got before the party arrived. Nice. Hey, he dropped an elder seed. Perfect. Is that two of them? Uh, he dropped one. Uh, no, I mean, it, yes, we have three we now. Got? Nice. We get the boss. Another group coming down the hill. Said there were more coming. Already killed him.
What is required to get the forge to level two? Just forge upgrade item, just like the workbench upgrade items. That would be the anvil, followed by the forge cooler. Anvil's the easiest, just need two bronze and five wood. In fact, I can build it right now. Once we move the forge inside. Which I My understanding right is that it isn't going inside. Oh, it's not going inside? Earlier, Vorm said not to put any crafting stations inside the house. All right, where's the forge going? I don't know. We're going to have to redevelop the outside as well, so. Need to rearrange the uh, little smithy area over here. Put a little uh, combo outbuilding and smeltery. Put the uh, forge in that same group. All the metal stuff's in one location. Doesn't need to be inside the main lodge. Here. We're going to have workbenches all over the place for various reasons. We have a primary workbench somewhere out here if we want. Well, the forge is near the thing now. Did you say the forge was a two now? Is that what you said? Yeah, exactly. And the anvils are next to it. Yas, Das Forgen is to level two. Do we want to put some beds down? It'd be a good idea. Put them around the uh, main fire in the lodge. Need wood for that. Should we have another surprising lack of? <laughs> Honestly, I got through everything. some in a secret stash bed needs a roof well you're gonna be that way are you I think it's not liking my vent for the uh, the fire oh no it's that we don't have a roof the floor doesn't count as a roof floor doesn't count, yeah. so we technically don't have a roof no problem We do have nice windows, though. So you're going to want them down on this end. We need to go get wood in order to put up a roof, huh? I'm up chopping trees right now. We have uh, we have plenty of wood. Where? In the chest. Um, by plenty, I mean one stack. Yeah, no, <laughs> we don't have plenty of wood. It's just people don't merge their stacks, so it looks like more wood when we don't actually have that much. Which, which, ugh. 
one stack though. Are we doing logs to the top floor too? Okay. Um. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't built, so I started working on it. Well, I put softwood, but it didn't look right. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're gonna need elder wood then, or core wood. Yeah, I just used up all the core wood that I had. So. How did you jump over that side? <laughs> uh, by having a high jump skill. <laughs> okay. Well, I just emptied out the card if we need it for a wood run. We're gonna need it for a wood run. I think we... Oh. We need to build a second cart. Do a double wood run. No. <laughs> We need to build a new door to get out of here because the cart is currently trapped because of the house. You can just take those little arms down off that one side if you need to. Might be able to sneak it through uh, the back door. Yes, Let's sneak it through the back door. Look at that cart driving. I got my road. I already made the road. Let's go. Actually, I'm just going to make another road. Come with me if you want to get the uh, wood. Uh, yeah, I think I'll pass my... Hop it on back. If you have a hoe, you could help as well. It'll make the roading faster. I do not believe I have one. There's a troll roaming around out here. There's a level 2 dwarf roaming around, around here. Oh, there's some company. They're right in the middle of your road. Run. They're taking the road to us. Hey, free path. Two star. Don't worry, I have a spear that uses way too much stamina. Oh, <laughs> God. What is that multi-shot effect that you have there, Remo? Nothing special that I'm aware of. <laughs> I think it's just lag. <laughs> No, it looks like when you shot, it fired off three. I've seen that on the streams before. Alright, let's try this again. Wood and road. Yeah, I don't have enough stamina to run and and road at the same time. It's still faster though. Careful, there's a troll out that direction with a big stick. That's fine. We'll kill him. Troll is good. We love more trolls troll now. Enzo, did I like this game? Yep, I like the game just fine. And we got a copper deposit here, too. Yep. One thing I'd Get say you want to be careful of is make sure you're 
comfortable with uh, grind, grindy, crafty games. Also, make sure that people you're playing with don't drop logs on your head. <laughs> also, swarm dwarves. Where's the wagon? Uh, in the middle of the tree pile, and it's crushed. Oh, oh, it's still alive. Build a workbench, quick. <laughs> right in the middle of the tree pile, I. <laughs> there, it's, uh, it's repaired. Did anybody mark that copper node? That's right next to you. You mean the one that we were standing on? <laughs> There's one here. Timber, watch out. Okay, I just marked the copper node here, yeah. All of the Twitch chat is, mm -hmm. is this game good? Is this game worth getting? <laughs> That's why I was trying to rush through it so I could uh, give it some of my education. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was right on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> Timber. Hey there, Arden Drub. I would say yes, it's definitely worth getting. It's designed for co-op play, but you can play it solo just fine. Uh, everything works great in it. Which is probably why they sold a million copies in the first week. Looks like the biggest danger to Norse foresters is other Norse foresters. <laughs> yeah, probably. No. Specifically just other ones with Norse... Z's in their names. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Not. Merge your stacks, guys. You're wasting so much room. You can fit like double the stuff in here. I'm gonna head back. My axe is broke. Go to the workbench. Fix it here. Uh, needs forge on a workbench. Oh, yeah, we got the wrong. At the wrong equipment. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely more fun co-op. I would recommend that if you have access to that, which is one of the reasons I have this server up. A uh, co-op community server. You're welcome to join us if you'd like. Server's going to run 24 hours a day, whether I'm on or not. I'll just kind of monitor and administer this server. And then anytime I'm live streaming uh, Valheim, I'll be playing on this server as well. Uh, we can hold more wood if you guys want to keep going. 
Might as well fill it up. Yep. You bringing back core or both? Uh, both. We got about 200 core right now and about 400. We got about Another. a 50-50 mix, extra sugar, uh, extra shot of espresso. Uh, I'll talk about how the structure system works when I get back to the base. Kind of show you what it, how it works. I need to kind of be able to be there to point at stuff to kind of explain it. <laughs> hey, zombie dog, what you up to? Y'all hyped up now? You got that that mega biscuit in your belly? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you got a nice triple there, Remo. That's what I was going for. Let's see all. I just want to watch this fall. All right. Beauty. That's timber with an echo. <laughs> it's a double right here. Gotta love the game that gets you, lets you play lumberjack chicken. <laughs> Ah, uh, my axe broke. Who moves yeah. first? <laughs> yeah, my axe is down too. So I'm switching to the pick. Oh yeah, and I got a copper pick too, or a bronze pick. Keep saying copper. Let's see how much faster this is. One of the nice things about co-op play for those that are thinking about getting the game is um, there's no player levels, there's no equip requirements on the equipment, so players can drop in and drop out of each other's worlds with no problem. Um, you don't have to worry about your friends out leveling you really, which is a common problem for MMOs and other games of that style. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and head back down now. I've collected enough wood. Got a gray dwarf in the area. I, I don't have an axe. I can't hurt him. <laughs> I, have a, I have a spear. You can always punch him. <laughs> yeah, but this is... Alright, we're loading up the cart. So moving out, is that what you're saying? Yep, moving out. If you guys have hoes or if you can make a hoe really quick, it would help because then I could run while you guys just dig in front of me. And as you can see, you can do all sorts of fun, cool base building stuff. We're still very much in the wood building stage, but we've still got uh, stone working to go. Lots of other okay. stages to go for fancier stuff. We have a we have a path, right? Yes, oh, I will be on the path. Just follow me. I'm doing it. Still a few areas that need to be ironed out. Like right here, apparently. Oh, that's right. Uh, I know where we're at now. Okay. Ah. Watch out on the back. You're stopping me from backing it up. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't. It's... Uh, okay, that's fine. Thank you. One more hit. Oh, that's awesome. Not, not too deep, man. Oh, that's too deep. Alright, we can just take this path whenever we want wood now. Easy mode. But oh, try not yeah. to stand on it because I think it is actually messing it up. All right, talking about supports. So, if you look at, if you have your hammer in your hand and you see the color coding, blue means it's a foundational piece, meaning it touches the ground directly. And the trick, especially if you're trying to build high, is to 
make sure that you have so we have these support pillars in here so this corner piece right there is a four meter support pillar that touches the ground is blue that means the one above it is green and i could put another one above that that would be green and the whole system is just based on how many points it has to trace a path to get to the nearest foundation point so as long as you've got uh, four or five points of pathway between, you shouldn't have any problem. But right now, I mean, we've got eh, some orange because I don't have any central pillar here. So this is having to trace a path outward to the nearest long pillar that's connecting to the ground. That's pretty much the whole system. It's just counting the number of tiles from a ground support structure. So you try to figure out designs that'll take advantage of that. And if you're going to build tall, you want to wait until you've got access to the core wood, which is the pine trees, and build these four meter, uh, these right here, four meter log poles. That'll give you the greatest distance up in the fewest number of um, slots or positions vertically. Log delivery. So it's best to generally get your get your main posts in, make sure they're actually on the ground, that you're not accidentally putting those vertical support posts like on top of a ground, one of these sections, because then you're wasting this. You've only got six inches of height out of your first piece from the ground instead of getting four meters of height out of the first one. So you want to project that as high as you can in the least number of uh, holes. Now we have to figure out how to put a roof on this thing. I've been waiting for the yahoos to get back with the uh, the core wood. Do you want me to do a roof styled like the one uh, on the docks? Sure, go for it. Put some if kind that, of roof on there. If that looks cool, I think it looks all right. Like where did the for where did the forge go? The forge? It's by the uh, forge chest. It moved to Tennessee. <laughs> I'm tired of running it back and forth. Yeah, we need to get some tiki tiki torches out here or something. Hard to see at night without any of the lights going. So, do you think that uh, that roof will be good? That kind of roof? Uh, I'm I'd be happy with any kind of roof. Okay. Feel, feel free to throw something up. I'd like to take a boat trip before I stop for the night. Go uh, suss out the Elder Island and get a portal over there. Let me just throw up a makeshift roof now just so we can sleep. So, here's what we've explored. Here is the entire world. And it is flat. You will fall off the edge if you sail your boat out to the edges. <laughs> that gives you an idea of how big the world is that you get to explore. It's mostly islands. This is about as big as the islands. Eh, maybe they're a little bigger sometimes. Maybe about twice this big. But that's about as big as they get. Not much bigger than that. There's just whole bunches of them dotted all over the place with all the different biomes. We've killed the first boss and we're probably capable of killing the second one right now. But we gotta get to him. He's over there. That's gonna be a boat trip. Then we can all get eaten by sea serpents and lose all of our gear out in the middle of the water. Mind the roof. It's only temporary, so we can actually sleep. Should be... Yeah, we can sleep now. If you guys want to try to skip the night. Sure. I am sleeping. We have beds for Clima everybody? Clima bread. bed. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't make a bed. Clima bread. There's enough beds. There's, uh... Yeah, there's enough. Just go grab one. You coming, Remo? It's uh, it's nap time. <laughs> yeah, I just put my roast beast on, so I was waiting for it to finish. Nice. Bed needs a roof. Oh, I didn't roof that part. Oh, let me go roof that part. Or just smash the bed and wedge it in here. <laughs> <laughs> or I could just do this. There you go. Bed has a roof. Bed needs a nearby fire. <laughs> 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 I 
Somebody get up and just... So set the damn building on fire, and then... <laughs>